Hello, hi, and good morning, Melbourne. Please welcome your hosts, Harrison Hewitt and Bert Woodford. Hello, hi, and good morning, Melbourne. And welcome to Hello, Hi, and Good Morning. I'm Harrison Hewitt Dart. <laughs> uh, due to some uh, <laughs> budgetary constraints, uh, half the crew has been laid off. So, look, I I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not entirely sure how today is going to go, but I can assure you that, like any other morning with Hello, Hi, and Good Morning, your day is sure to be better, no matter what. I'll be here with Bert to bring you all the fun and well wishes that you need to get through the day. <laughs> so Bert, you want to lead us in for the morning? All right, I'll do it myself. <laughs> this is News Flash. Wonder Drug, a new pharmaceutical hitting shelves this morning could soon become a household item, as experts are saying that this drug not only helps with weight loss, but hair growth, teeth whitening, bone strength and muscle mass. This Wonder Drug is being sold at all good chemists for the low, low price of only $399 a bottle. <laughs> what a bargain. You want to take this one? You're not giving me much, are you? Oh well, <laughs> down for the count. The Premier of Victoria was admitted into hospital overnight after a grandfather clock fell on top of him during a midnight fridge raid. Doctors say he has two fractured ribs but is expected to make a full recovery. Double or nothing. The Prime Minister has today made a controversial announcement that he's made a bet with New Zealand's Prime Minister in order to see who can drink a pint the fastest. It's been reported that the winner gets to annex the loser's country and will be written into their constitution, making them an official part of the nation. The Prime Minister was quoted this morning as saying, double or nothing. <laughs> In any case, don't expect us Aussies to be saying jandals anytime soon. <laughs> Total recall. Sorry everyone, but I, I'm just now getting word that the wonder drug we covered earlier is now being recalled nationwide due to unforeseen side effects. The drug appears to cause temporary paralysis in both arms and the right eye, as well as hair loss, spontaneous vomiting, tooth decay and bone brittleness. If you or a loved one have purchased the wonder drug and so much as opened the bottle, please see a healthcare professional immediately. <laughs> And Doggy Daredevil. This week, the Melbourne Exhibition Centre will be hosting the Canine Stunt Show as it comes to town. The event will showcase dogs of all breeds performing death-defying stunts that will have you on the edge of your seat. So make sure you get in early to see these professional pups perform perilous acts as tickets are reportedly selling quicker than any year before. <laughs> now that's certainly not something to miss. <laughs> Woo! I'm not used to doing so many in one take. <laughs> So are you just going to quietly sit there for the whole show? <sighs> right. <laughs> well, our previous host and sports correspondent, Cody, is waiting for us out in the field. Cody, are you there? Hello there, Harrison. I'm out here at the McGregor Oval where I'm expecting to see the match of the century. The Oysters and the Longnecks are all set for a nail-biting match that will decide who goes on to play the Wham Wham Tiki T bumps in next week's semi-regional grand final. Wow, sounds very exciting. How are the players feeling going into the game? Uh, the players on which team? <laughs> uh, oh, uh, the Oysters. Oh, I, uh, I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> right, well, what about the Longnecks? I, I, I don't know about them either, to be honest. <laughs> uh, Cody, how on earth could you not know how any of the players are feeling right now before playing the most important match of the season? Look, to, to tell you the truth, I'm a little confused myself. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a single person at this oval. So they're not in the changing rooms or anything? Ha not having a pre-game pep talk? I, I don't think that's it. Uh, no. And uh, why is that, Cody? I, I think um, I think we got the start you time wrong. You got the start time wrong. Uh, by how long? When's it really supposed to start? 
Um, <laughs> uh, 20 minutes on the other side <laughs> so, of the So, sorry, what you're saying is we're not getting any coverage of the game this morning. Uh, that, that's correct. Sorry, no. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Easy mistake to make. <laughs> I've done that before a couple of times. Who hasn't? Um, I, I haven't. <laughs> First of all, uh, it's not an ideal scenario, but I did actually manage to organize a little something. Oh, really? And uh, what might that be? Oh. <laughs> it is our very own Hello Hi and Good Morning footy jersey. Look at it. <laughs> It's, it's orange. <laughs> I designed it myself. It's, um, look, I've, I've, got, I've got one for you at, at home. I've got a special one for Matilda. I know she's out there watching. Um, I've got it, I've got it um, for our cable manager, our hydration assistant, uh, the assistant to the hydration assistant. I've got it for uh, the director, the producer. I've got it for Bertney's dad. I've got it for, um, I've got it for Garrison as well. And... Um, What's your yeah, that saying? looks it, great, mate. <laughs> and really nice of you to do that out of your own pocket too. Oh no, I I, I use some of the show's budget. Oh. Hey, uh, Cody. <laughs> how did you pay for that? Um. Cody. Yeah. How did you pay for that? Oh, it's a funny story. Cody, really. tell me you didn't use some of our last remaining budget on that abomination of a shirt. Surprise! It's technically a jersey. You. Troglodyte. We are an ant's knob away from getting cut from the network. We have a shoestring budget and practically nothing left. All I have is this show and you're fighting away the money like it's gravy. Well, it's not gravy. This is exactly why we cut you as a host. You haven't got half a brain cell to share with someone and I hate how you smell. I can't even look at, right, I can't even look at you right now. Get him off my screen now. Now, get him off my, my screen. Look, I, I think the best thing to do right now would be just, just take a minute, go to an ad break, everyone can calm down and then we'll continue the rest of our morning together, okay? Sound good? Great, let's go to an ad break. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Light, fresh, elegant. The only Buron you'll ever need. Be the man of your dreams. Smell like the man of her dreams. Who they perform, smell like the city that never sleeps, that isn't New York. Welcome back to Hello, Hi and Good Morning. Bert and I were just having an absolutely riveting conversation about frogs. <laughs> Look, I want to start off this next segment by apologising to you viewers at home. My outburst earlier was totally uncalled for. And look, I, I may have said some things to another host who will remain nameless. Uh, I did not mean any of these things. It was rude of me and I am sorry. And now the weather with Ella. <laughs> I mean, the weather with Ella. Ella, surely you have some good news about the weather to cheer us all up. Hello Harrison, hi Bert and good morning Melbourne. I'm just out and about on my usual morning stroll through the wilderness as I usually am and I've stumbled across an old friend of mine. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Jim. Well I'm here with Jam who is going to tell us all about nature. Isn't that right Jam? Uh, Jim. But before we get into that, a little bit about the weather. It looks like it's going to be pretty sunny across most of the city with a few spot showers over the east and a snowstorm in Altona. Better rug up, it looks like in Victoria's greater region, it's going to be much the same. Sunshine all around. So keep that sunscreen close by, you just may need it. Let's move our attention over here to Jam so he can tell us a bit more about nature. Um, so here we have fauna. The, um, uh, leaf is green and pointy. Crack, crack, and, um, crack, crack. It's found in Australia. Cheep, 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 cheep. Crack. The leaf is... Wow. 
Wasn't that just great? Learning about what nature has to offer. What an exciting show we have for you today. And so much more coming over the next few episodes. <laughs> so did you catch the game yesterday? God, what a match. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> but I did catch a glimpse of the sunrise this morning and oh, what a great day for a breath of fresh air. Look, if I wasn't making such a great show, <laughs> I'm sure I'd be out there. Bit of a fun fact for the viewers at home. Did you know that Melbourne has a wild penguin population? Yeah, if you, uh, if you go down to Phillip Island, there are wild penguins there. Bert here is the son of the producer. That's right, our show's producer right here. He's trying his luck at the job. How are you, uh, how are you finding it? Hi, Harrison. Hello, everyone at home. Good morning, Bert. Do you want to hear a joke? Poppy, uh, I don't think anyone's really in the mood for jokes right now. Too bad. What do you call a monkey that can't keep a secret? Poppy, please. Why don't monkeys wear belts? Because they don't wear pants. Poppy, it's uh, probably time to stop talking. Where do monkeys go for a drink after work? Come That's on, it, puppet! Come here! Come here! I'm gonna kill you, puppet! I'm gonna kill you! What, what the hell? What the hell is this? You have been doing that annoying character since day one. You know how long ago that was? That was five weeks ago! And five weeks I've put up with nothing but pain and suffering! And I'm sick of it! I'm sick of your character and I'm sick of all of it! You know, I built this show! This is all me! This set? All me! <laughs> you know, everything here is owned by me, right? The only things I don't own is that <laughs> chair and that table. Yeah? You know what? We'll see how far you can get! Go on, try your best! You, you heard him, guys. Let's go. Do it. What? No, 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 you can't. No, that's my mug. My, no, no, they've been there for five years. This, this is all my stuff. It's my stuff. No, no, you can't, you can't make me. No, I won't. You can't. No, 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 no. Commercial, commercial. I stand tough on traffic, transport, and time wasting. Hi, I'm Bill Forward. I'm with the Party for the Advancement of Australia Fair, and I'm running for the seat of Hunky Dory. Apologies for the slight delay in things. There was a, uh, a, a mistake with, uh, with the payments for the studio. The, um, thank you. Uh, the, the mistake being that we do not have the money uh, to pay for this studio, but um, uh, uh, well, uh, we are going to be hosting our first, uh, very first, hello, hi, and good morning telethon to raise some funds for the production team. Yeah, uh, over here we have my wonderful co-host Bert answering the phones and ready to talk to you, wonderful people. Uh, we would have more people, but we can't afford them. So instead, Bert will be here, ready to take your calls. And I will be over by our barometer, ready to record, uh, as, uh, see how close we get to our goal of $70,000. That's right. So if you want to keep seeing hello, hi, and good morning as the first thing to start your day, all you need to do is call in and uh, as, uh, with the number at the bottom of your screen that you see right here, and uh, you just need to make a donation. You can even choose how large or small your donation option is. We have a selection of uh, sizes of donations from, uh, from $200 all the way up to $70,000. So uh, the first 50 callers will also receive a can of POW energy drink in their new static cherry flavor. So don't miss out, call now. <laughs> Our first caller. <laughs> How wonderful. <laughs> it's very exciting. <laughs> Bert, don't you want to pick that one up? Bert? 
Don't pick up the phone. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> no, I can talk. <laughs> Listen, all right? Just because your daddy writes the checks doesn't mean that I'm going to give you any special favor, okay? We've got important calls coming in, all right? And I'm not going to let you take that away from me, okay? Don't be afraid to call in. We'll be right here to give you a warm and friendly hello, hi, and good morning welcome. <laughs> so come on, call now. Oh, hello. Yes, this is Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's wonderful to talk to you too. <laughs> oh, well, you don't have to say that. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. No, we would love to receive your donation. Thank you. Oh, $500? What? Oh, you can't be serious. Oh, well, thank you very much. No, no, Linda. Thank you. You have made my day. You have absolutely made my day, Linda. Thank you very much for your generous, generous donation. <laughs> well, it seems we have our first donation. <laughs> How wonderful. Thank you to Linda for donating $500. We're just going to uh, come over and color our barometer, <laughs> which seems to have already been taken off set. <laughs> so we'll just uh, pretend to color that one in. <laughs> Just... Damn it! Damn it! This is everything I've worked for and it's all falling apart around me! No! Ah! Oh! My chips have run out. Has your extended warranty done the same? Don't let your expired extended warranty leave you feeling helpless. With our extended warranty program, you can feel at ease knowing your devices are covered when your chips are down. Better warranty. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to whatever's left of this show. So uh, Bird's dad decided to come on down and just have a little bit of a visit to the set during the ad break and uh, guess what he told me? This show has been cancelled. <laughs> yep, that's it. So during that ad break, I thought I'd write down a couple of notes and just, uh, just get my thoughts out on the paper. You know how that can really help you grind down some things. So, uh, you know, I've been doing this show for the last five years and what's left of it? Nothing but an empty man and in an empty studio in front of one camera left with nothing but self-loathing. That's right. So what am I going to do? Just give a little bit of a, a monologue about all my self-loathing? I think that's what I should do. In case you folks missed out, this show has been perfectly fine for five years and all of a sudden there's budgetary restrictions? Oh sure, because the studio needs three hydration officers and whatever he's wearing. Look at this man. That's probably half of our annual budget gone just on his shoes. God damn it. I have a couple more thoughts for you, in fact. Hello, hi, and good morning is dead. That's it. We're done for. Belly up, face down in the water. All I have left is a few fleeting seconds in front of this camera and that door, that goddamn orange door. That's all I have left of this stupid set. I've given everything to the show and what's left? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's all, it's all falling apart around me. And there's nothing that I can do. Nothing I seem to do matters. Nothing. Nope. That's it. That's it. None of this matters. Nope. I didn't need anyone bringing me water every five minutes and yet that's what happened. So here we are. No money, no show, no nothing. So, uh, I guess we're going to go to a quick ad break. And uh, who knows what's going to happen next? I don't care anymore. This may make you rich. Build your personal wealth today and fast with Money Bags Mason's 10 Motor Making Money Making Techniques. Slots available, but not for long. Well, this is it. <laughs> All I have left. The producers thought it would be nice if uh, maybe I came out and said 
couple of little words before we cut it off the air. So, um, look, I, I, I thought I'd just come out here and just, I guess, get it off my chest. This is all I had, and it's gone now. And I don't know what's next, and honestly, I'm scared. I don't know if there will be something after this. I mean, <laughs> who's going to want to hire a washed up show host? <laughs> really? <laughs> who's going to want to do that? I mean, my younger brother is, is better looking than me, and he does actual journalism. <laughs> I, I guess in my final moments, I should say a thank you. <laughs> So, thank you to everyone that helped me to get to this point. Each and every one of you has done something for me and made me the man I am today. And I wouldn't have even had this without you. So, thank you for that. <sighs> My name is Harrison Hewitt Dart. I'm afraid to let people know how old I really am. And I guess this is the final see ya. Farewell, and goodbye. She was a lonely milkmaid and living with a tyrannical father trying to sell her into marriage with the Lord's son. I shan't marry him, Father. Lord Pembleberry's our last chance at financial salvation. Dost thine enjoy milking bovine? Thou shalt do what I say. Nay, Father, nay. I defy thee. But after defying him, she finds herself running into the axles of B3789T. He was sent on a mission to the year 1073 to find his long-lost cyborg brother. But instead, he found... love. My mission directive is to find my long-lost cyborg brother, and hopefully along the way, my wife's killer. Then it is so that my mission directive is to assist thee in any manner possible. I was rebuilt a mere year ago. Then thine mother's milk has scarcely dried upon thine lips. Now he must choose what is most important to him. The fate of the future depends on me finding my long-lost cyborg brother. But the fate of my heart depends on you. Then, good sire, thou must choose carefully. Will love prevail, or will a mission directive come between them? Out with the old, in with the new. Thursdays at 6.25 p.m. AEST. Only on Channel 31. My job can be, uh, stressful. When I get a hunch, nothing can stop me. I mean, you can try. Hunch with a hunch. He's the man with a hunch. A real-life superhero, solving crimes 24-7. His nemesis, the One Ball. See the car with Jimmy One Ball. See, his signature grey suit. Got to place a tracker underneath his car. Make sure he doesn't slip through my fingers once again. He's a true professional. Always keeping out of sight. That was a close one. Johnny One Ball, Jimmy One Ball, whatever his name is, he's doing my head in. He's tracked down the fugitive and goes in for the arrest. Stay! Stay! Wait, I said stay! I had him, and he just. He just took off. True Blue Australian Hero, every Thursday only on Channel 31.
The writer's room for us is a magical place where anything can happen. Writing comedy is, uh, it's all about letting your imagination run wild and just being in the moment and uh, feeling the rest of the room, you know. We need to focus on the big picture stuff here, all right? We haven't got time for petty arguments. Yeah, it's just not that space for him to do it. Well, yeah, it's like the secret passion is like separating different sandwich combinations. Yeah, good stuff's all right. Uh, hate Cody though. Cody, I, I, I despise the guy. Um, yeah, those those guys are they're nice. They they muck around a bit um, every day, really. I think it's just an inside joke that we have. Yeah, I mean, it's my it's just the, you're breathing out air as well, and um, I don't know what it is. It's it's not that he smells bad. It's just that there's this particular odor he has. Is this anything? I I think if you weren't the writer and this was a different world, maybe we could make this. We've only got six episodes, all right? We have to prove that we're funny, all right? We don't have time to fart around. Unless we're telling fart jokes, then we have plenty of time to fart around. Uh, right now we are waiting for them to finish blocking. So we're gonna start our recording. The Snot Gang.